Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is NG Paradox, and we finally did it. Or should I say, I finally did something, which I promised to do a long time ago. We have a quick look into Pentos, you can see here, Rineros, and we have it. They have a Valerian Steel Sword. Um, I went into her file, well not into her file, sorry, I, I went to save the game, jumped out, jumped in as her, I sent her quite a bit of gold just to make sure she had enough so she could do it. I think you need to have like 200 gold to be able to click the event. And I did it as her. And I chose the name Passion because one thing, I didn't feel like any of the names of the swords really fitted in. Um, so I felt like, oh, let's try one that I wouldn't normally click. One that I've never seen used before in my playthroughs. And so I chose Passion for them. There we go. The Renaros have kind of a, a purple sword. Which is uh, slightly different to our sword, you know, in a way. But yeah, there we go. They finally have one. It's a small thing, but it's something I always said I would do. And actually, I need to move my capital. Let's do that right now. There we go. So we <laughs> we got our capital back to where it belongs. Good to see that. Now, I'm going to decline that. This is now an advanced colony. Yeah, we've got the colonies going. Yeah, we've got lots of colonies going. We're doing up the, the sorrow. Not sure how that's going to work out. I'm hoping it will fix the sorrow so it doesn't become a problem in the future. This little man is getting better at fighting. Good to see. I mean, he's not my child, but still, it's good to see people getting better. My vassals requested that. Okay. He can be your vassal for favor. What is this? Okay. We propose that they get married. Yeah, so you want to marry... Ah. Interesting. My son... I'm not sure why, 13 years old, he's kind of... I, I guess he just really liked her when he was with her. She's only four years old! <laughs> um, but she's a Targaryen. She was his sister, because they were both from his mother, Helena. I guess it's a way to get rid of her, isn't it? She's slow, though, but fine, if that's what you want, I'll, I'll accept that. Fine. It gets out of my court, you know, you could, if that's what he wants, if that's what he wants, my baby boy gets what he wants. You know, he's a, he's a paramount now, he can do whatever he wants. Uh, I watched my courtier play with another child yesterday, and noticed that he didn't want to share his toys. This is how ch children learn thrift. Yeah, we like that. Greed is not so bad, is it? And a new chief general. Jacaris. I mean, that's because he's got a dragon, isn't it? My wife would probably actually make quite a good one. But there's no point putting the wife there because she's the main wife, and so that won't affect the stats. That guy's a craven. Yeah, he's not as good as we'd want. This guy is not a craven, but he's a skilled fighter. Let's go with him. Yeah, 13%. That's not too bad. Storm Singer, this guy. Do we need to convert people still? I'm, I can't remember how much has been converted. Probably nothing. I mean, our guy's not particularly bothered about it. He doesn't need to convert people, but it's nice to convert people. Huh. My, my uncle believes in that. Okay, we'll do this place next then. It's been a while since I've kind of looked at the religions and whatnot. We haven't really concentrated much on that. Mainly due to our characters. We've got five more vassals that we could have. That doesn't that doesn't open up much when it comes to conquests. We could go for the Sarno. And obviously that's with Pentos and Lorath and Tyrosh not under us. And Yunkai and Astapor. Yeah, we probably have too many vassals, actually. We probably have too many vassals as it is. Let alone getting more. I could get revenge on the Dothraki and invade them. Can I invade the whole thing? I can't attack them at all, because we still have that army out, don't we? Yeah, they need to get back. Okay, we'll wait for that to get back. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say Turgon has escaped from the dungeons. Okay. Oh, he died. He actually was eaten by the dragon. That poor boy. Oh, well. One less dragon rider in the world. I mean, there's one more dragon still, but... Too many dragons. The mountain clans have attacked the Vale. King Dryan Kraken. Okay. Skilled fight. Got 11,000 men. Ooh, and the king only has 7,000 men. He could be in big doo doo right now. He's got a civil war at the moment. Maybe if he can put down the civil war, 
He might be able to deal with it. Iron Oaks is not getting involved. Yeah, it's a runestone, heart's home, basically led by the Corbreeze with Lady Forlorn in their hands. Fighting against the Arons. That's going to be quite bad. That would be hilarious to see them pop up. What are the Blackwood? Are they in rebellion right now? No, the Blackwood seem to be free. I could attack them. Just because we've got Valyria lands here and here, it would be nice to connect things. If I could just attack the Stormlands. <laughs> we could just attack the Stormlands completely. That would be a good way to do things. Um, yeah, you guys need to go back, don't you? King Larry's Dragonstone accepted the peace offer, white peace, with the Targaryens. Okay, so our people are actually already fighting. He's quite young, 10 years old. He's a rebel leader. City of Duskendale. You would like to get Ori's Targaryen back. I'm going to decline that one. We cannot trust him. No, after the things he's done, we cannot trust him out. He's too dangerous. What if he tames another dragon? The High Lordship of the Prince's Pass. Huh. But he didn't die. So she didn't inherit it, did she? She just kind of took it from him, I'm guessing? Nope, she did inherit. I guess his family all gone. Yeah, his family's all gone. And I guess that his, his vassals kind of rose up against him and forced him to abdicate. And so it went to her. That's, uh, that was good for her, I guess. She's probably quite happy about that. My wife is pregnant. The young one again. Thank you very much. Another baby for us. He declared conquest. Why would you attack me with 1,000 men? What is going on? Okay, everyone is getting up to help us. We'll let our vassals hand us. I, this is not a job for an emperor to go deal with. There's no need for us to go. That princess just died there in Dawn. So who got it then? She had no kids. Five? There's only five Martells. Wow. They really got kind of uh, chopped down to size. Princess Jenilean. She's married to Valen. Strong man. Her daughter. Did any of them get strong? Okay, that one did. Princess Illyria. Okay, one of the twins got strong. Pretty cool to see. She now rides Sephiroth into battle. Another dragon rider. We really need one of those, don't we? New position. Lord Treasurer. This is the only problem with the Mega War system at the moment is because if someone supports you, it would still take them out of your council, it seems like. Uh, which maybe is kind of silly. My second wife. Yeah, my second wife. You can be the Lady of the Treasury. Collect taxes. Uh, do it there. You find your courtier in practice and one morning train with a wooden sword. Find career for a young man. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we'd think it's too dangerous. We'd be pretty impressed. Uh, you're going to stay there. Let him rot. And what is that? Unmarried heir. My son is now able to get married. Declared hostess claim on Yee-T. She has 28,000 men. That's not too bad. That's a good amount of men. Blair's in a state of war. They're on their obligations. That's a good amount of men she was able to get, actually. Uh, what is this? Dangerous factions. Stupid. I didn't want wars, to be honest. That war's over. Enforced demands. Shams rumors of fire and blood. Visenya Targaryen. Now rides Sambaron? Sambaron? I, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Sambaron? We'll go with that then. But my son. What marriage for you? Do we have anyone in our court, maybe? No. We have no one at all in our court. Betrothal? Is this one girl? Bastard girl? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go see what we can find you then. That girl is a dragon egg. That's obviously my uncle's daughter. We go for some more natural traits. He's got attractive. Let's have a look what we can get. So we've got a girl who's she's 33 though. A bit too old, maybe. 
Anyone else? I can't see any of the natural traits popping up. Yeah, no obvious natural traits. Let's leave them for a bit and see if we can uh, find someone. I guess we could marry them to my uncle's daughter. He's now moved his capital up there. His first son does not have an egg. Yeah, he gave her the egg. Why her? Why not your first two sons? Did you not think they were good enough? I guess he didn't. Yeah, I guess he just didn't think they should have the egg. Not sure how he chose that. Maybe he made them fight in a pit. A pit of snakes and then the one that came out alive. But they all must have come out alive because they're all there. Come back here so we can delete you. Oh, wait, I've got an army out. I could just go fight that woman, can't I? That's a good point. Where is she? In Kwizijan. I'm going to guess it's somewhere over here. That does not look like her. No, can't see her up here. There she is. 20,000 men. I guess we'll march these men over then. My wives will go and fight. For their, for their husband's glory, of course. I think he likes to see his wives on the battlefield. I think it gives him that sense of awe. You know, he's kind of like, look at my wives. Look how strong they fight. Look how, look how well they can defeat other people. But I, when I get to the bedroom, I, I uh, conquer them. That, that's what he thinks. He, he's, a he's a weird man. I accept your offer. Uh, no, you're going to stay my cussie because you're stupid. Has failed. He's the consequences. I just want these wars to end so we can go on more conquests. Uh, it's harmless, yeah. He's fashionable. He's a fashionable duelist. Interesting chap. More out. Uh, he'll be like that. Charitable or gregarious. I'm much more of a gregarious person. I'm not... Oh, he did get charitable, though. Okay. I see. He got charitable anyway. Where's our men? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. We weren't close enough. Travel's been rumors of fire and blood. Fornaxis now has been tamed. 50 years old. Vermon. Where is he? The Five Forts. Really? Ah. So that's all the way up here in the Five Forts. Dragon, dragon Riders everywhere. There's Dragon Riders off in the Far East. Dragon Riders many in Essos. Dragon Riders in Dragonstone. And one in Horn Hill, if I remember correctly. No, I'm not sure if it's still there. It could be the dragon's gone by now. And we had another son. Me oh, he's dead. But he was, attra he was attractive for the few moments he was alive. Oh, dear. He never lived. I'm depressed. Am I depressed? I'm not depressed. I mean, I have so many sons. I, I, I guess I can see where he's coming from. He's thinking, oh, well, one less mouth to feed. One less person to give land to, you know. Makes things so much easier. Poor baby. She's got men over here. 19,000 down here. But with the dragons, my wife should be able to defeat her. Um, expose and denounce him publicly. His false religion. It's a false religion. We don't care. All religions are false. He's improved his skills. Prince Garmin. More diplomacy. Good job, boy. Force the train. Ooh, that's very bad. That's not good at all. Yeah. Off a non-aggression pact. Yeah. Garmin has now become a trained fighter. Good job. I didn't have to do it at all anyway. And let's have an alliance. I guess I can't. Grant him a royal privilege. All of my families get royal privileges. That'd be, uh... That'd get people quite upset. What are we going to have you for an education, then? My young boy. You're very good at diplomacy. Servants at court. Service and humility. That's not really going to work for you, a prince. So, etiquette, yeah. Seems more like the thing. Duty, guards and retainers. He's not good at fighting, though. Counselors and noblemen. Pride, maybe. Pride or etiquette, I think, is what he'd be doing. 
Let's go with etiquette. He's going. He's a prince after all. He's going to have etiquette, isn't he? My heir. He's now my heir. Is he's fourteen? He's stressed. What are you stressed about, my young boy? What are you stressed about? What are you talking about? That's why allies are already defeating her at twelve percent. How far are our men? Are they anywhere near? I can't see them. There they are. Okay, they lost quite a few men on the way there, but it's fine. Make her disappear. The assassin succeeded. Very good. No one gets in my way. I am Damien. Incompetent steward. Well, that's not great. News from the Painted Valleys. She successfully hatched an egg. Okay, another egg for that family. Gorthalon. Good for her. The baby of Zugurion. Not a very old dragon. He now rides Gemtail. Veron. Okay, so that was in the lands of my son in New Gis. Interesting. So he now has... There's dragon riders everywhere. Slaver's Bay, Yeti. It's just absolute chaos of dragons. The dragon, Jayzax, is ravenous. What did they expect? Tumu is currently under my control. His close relative is currently opposing us. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, well, I, I don't think we'd blame him for that. I don't think Damon would blame a man for his family's faults. The child clearly has potential. Introduce him to the court. He isn't shy. I think he'd show him to the court. We've lost even more men. That's fine. No gifts of any kind. Uh, we've got news from Claw Isle. She's hatched a dragon. Amax. Good for her. This one's nimble. Quite an old dragon it's born from. Now, where is she? Oh, she's down here with 12,000 men. There's actually two people have sided with her. King Gang of Jing Kui. So Jing Kui, the one down here she was attacking, sided with her. And Lord Paramount Chao Lok. Or, sorry, Lok Chao is on her side. The colony is under siege. A relief must be sent. I've lost... <laughs> we still should have enough men, but still we lost maybe a bit too many men. Change his opinion. Okay, let's, uh, let's go for commanders. Let's get the best ones we can get on board. I guess because my wife is busy, they won't be able to take the dragons, will they? I don't think this woman has dragons anyway, so I'm going to go myself. I'll take Helena, just in case she might die. <laughs> and uh, my other wife, the Lyries. And, ooh, she's got a dragon egg. Ooh. Very, you could give that to Valar. That'd be very nice. What about the other wife? She has no dragon egg. Our son has come to age, though. Um, his stress maybe is probably intrigue and stewardship down. Yeah, th he's not very good at those two things anyway. Doesn't look... Doesn't look particularly great. Doesn't like me or his grandfather. What about the great-grandfather? Yeah, he probably looks more like his great-grandfather, if anything. If you're going to, like, you know, really look at the picture and try and figure out what he looks like, that's probably the closest one he looks like. The Georgia population of Crab Shaw has been <laughs> converted to the Valyrian faith. Well, the Crab Shaw, isn't that good? The recent conversion has kind of upset people. That's, uh, oh, they're going to come to us. We're losing a lot of men here. Send supplies. It's most of the money. But dragon, we've got dragons. It's still enough. He's advancing. Gaiman has now got more learning. Very good. It's peace offer. I want to attack the Stormlands, I feel like. We're going to keep losing men here, aren't we? New dragons entered the world. What is this? Sonax. Yeah, and this one is over here. Somerset. That's not even Horn Hill. This is Somerset. Which one's Somerset? This one. He's got Valerian features. Look at that. Yeah, his wife was the dragon rider. And that's her son. 
Interesting. Lord Ben. I love the fact that he's like... A, someone of Valerian descent with a dragon came over here, had a baby. Their son's now Whitehead. He's now inherited those lands. Was hanged on the orders of the West March. Ooh. Died in battle against Narbert from the Stormlands. Okay, she's got a husband. Who would be the heir? Merin Tali. So some interesting things going on over there. Just a, a nice sort of separate storyline of their own. But imagine conquering the Stormlands. Ah, it would be glorious. It would be glorious. A roll of worshipper, Lord Commander. That's some, we've seen some weird things in this series so far. Some weird things have happened overall. There we go. Another win for us. 48%. Let's get the hell out of that place, please. Because that is just killing all of our men. It's not making it easy. Especially there's 14,000 men up here now. Spent the last few months improving your good reputation. Thank you very much. Okay, we lost quite a few people there. Let's go down this way. Let's take that place out. They want to get married. Her father was that guy with the Valerian Steel Sword. Who got the sword? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> For some reason, I thought he was dead. I was like, where's his sword gone? Accept. I'll accept. Your young son has finished his education. An expert scientist. Well, that's okay. Not great, but... Eh. Yeah, the future king does not look so great. I mean, he looks like a good man. This is actually the first time. Actually, yeah, actually, when you look at it, this is the first time we'd have a good king. Look at that. He's diligent, he's content, he's humble, and he's brave. He would actually be a good king. This is like the first time we've ever had that. He is scarred, he's a skilled fighter, and he's attractive, um, and he's stressed. He's good at fighting and learning, that's it. And he's not even that great at that. His brother? Ah. He looks a bit more like a sort of Valerian, what you expect. That's kind of more the picture you expect. Yeah. wonder what education he'll get. But still, that other boy will be the future king. i got to make sure I conquer him before he becomes king, because he's content. He's a nice king. He's more about, you know, sorting out the inside than kind of conquering places. Maybe Damien... Wants to conquer more places before he dies. Which I think he does. I think we should send out the dragon because it's going to be difficult to take this otherwise. We should probably just go over here to fight them. They look like they do want to fight, so we're going to go fight them. Then we'll come back and use the dragon to take out their capital. Because they betrayed us. Squeeze some extra taxes. Troublesome peasants. I'm actually going to get you out of that, because I don't like you being on the council, because I can't use you for dragon stuff. Let's let Nataris do that. And you can... My wife, you can come back here. Um, Hella, you don't need to be there. There we go. The free dragon. The free dragon freesome. <laughs> That's what we are at the end of the day. Jayzax, a sickly dragon... Born from Sky Dancer. Has arrested an armed man. This is clearly a bandit, I think he would say. Your Imperial Majesty received word that the dragon, Jayzax, has died in Old Volantis. Well, it was a sickly dragon. A legend fades. I mean, I think everyone's kind of expecting that dragon to die. 58%. Yeah, it looks like she can't really get into a good position to take out our allies and whatnot. So it probably won't take too long to defeat her. I could just get more men and bring them over and defeat her. By shit, possibly. The cook complained to me about my courtiers. Tanta tantrums. Wait, temper tantrums? What the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, the fashionable duelist. The kid shows spirit. Beat him to being calm. Encourage him to be more patient. Pray for his soul. The kid shows spirit. He should learn temper. Yeah, we're more of a temperate person. And he got amateurist plotter. Yeah, he, he turned out quite a mix of a person at the end of the day. We could send them north and defend one of the bigger armies. What should we do with him? Clap the leader in irons. Yeah, we'll bring him with us. He's a traitor after all. 60%. We'll go after them, let him rot. 
God, these these paramounts or lords of GT, they constantly are just getting themselves put in my dungeon. It's like they want to be in here. Where are you going? Are you going down? Yeah, they are going down. Okay, they can keep going down then. We'll do, we'll protect these guys. So if they go fight them, we'll go help them out. That's what we'll plan to do. We'll use our allies here to take out her armies. Actually, they have quite a few men over here. They could probably do it themselves. Ooh, he's gone better. Arion. So the youngest boy has now been able to get himself a little bit better. Um, my second son is actually a skilled steward. And that actually was good to what he was actually okay at. So actually he's become quite good at stewardship. Which might be useful seeing as he's a Lord Paramount. He's got his betrothal. He's going to have to wait a few more years until he can uh, have a baby. My other son. He's not really got anything happening to him. He's 11 years old. Can't force to train you. Okay, fine. We're going to end this part here. Um, and we'll see what happens next time. Obviously, still doing rebels and stuff, but hopefully when we defeat this rebellion, I might just go straight into a war, maybe try and destroy the Stormlands, because he looks over there kind of annoyed about the fact the Stormlands has grown so strong. He doesn't like the fact they've been able to grow so strong. He wants to take care of that, maybe. And because he's gone all the way east now, he's like, look, I've touched the five forts. I've gone all the way east to the five forts. I now want to touch the other biggest stronghold in the world, the wall. We take over the Stormlands, we stretch the furthest west as well. Well, I guess, I guess this is. But yeah, you know, we're basically going west as well. You know, east and west brought together. We'll touch the wall, touch the five forts. I think that'll be a good way to do what we want to do next. And I was meant to be ending. So yeah, let's end it here. See you next time.